So this is for the weekly angel card reading for the week of October 2nd through October 8th. And the two cards, the two decks I'm using are the Oracle of Tea and the Integration cards. Love, love, love these two cards together. And I, I do it for the full week. I don't I don't do it like, oh, this is for the beginning part of the week, this is for the middle, this is for the end. I do it, this is your entire week. And what's cool about this is that the, the Oracle of Tea feels like it blends, blends the whole week together for some reason. Hi, Victoria. So first I'm going to be doing the recorded part, and then I'll stop the recorded part, and then, then I'll um, do the do the live questions. How exciting. This is so much fun. Thank you, Claudia, for putting up with, you know, helping me get this set up, too. So I really appreciate it. Okay, none of the cards popped out. So I am going to be, you have to trust that we're setting the intention together, that I'm pulling the perfect, oh, and I just got chills. Love that, love that, love that. Pulled two cards for the integration cards, and now I'm pulling one from the integration cards. And this one wants to come. Hi, Faye. Okay, so the first card is value. And if you look at this, it's got a 1B. So this is all about, hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kaylee. This is all about first chakra, but because it's got a B, we're going deeper. Okay, we have A, we have B, and we have C. And because it's a B, and I'm just going to whip my arm around for a minute. i got to plug my computer in. Um, because it's got the B, we are going deep into the first chakra. Now, value is all about how do we value ourselves and what in our lives do we value. This is such a, if you look at this plant, I don't know what kind of plant it is, but it's a succulent. So there's a lot of juicy stuff inside. And that's one of the things that so many of us, we don't feel that we have the good juice inside, but we do. We absolutely do. So value, value who you are, what you bring to the table. You know, there's a lot of people that are doing um live events like this, doing readings, writing books, doing blogs. But here's the thing is, doesn't matter who you are, somebody, somebody needs to hear your version of your story in order for them to get it. That's pretty powerful, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I love this, love this, love this. So this is this is the Oracle of Tea. This is Pomegranate Tea, Abundance, Prosperity, and Harvest. And how perfect for that to be at the beginning, the first week of October. Now, it actually, even though it's been still getting up in the 90s here in uh, southern Arizona, it feels like fall. There's a different feel. It's cooler. It's cooler in the mornings. There's a, it, It's much drier. So... Look at, now look at abundance and prosperity and, and harvest. Look at all of them in, not just in money, because it's so much more. There's, you know, there's an abundance of here. There's a, an abundance of sun. There's an abundance in my backyard of different critters. <laughs> there's an abundance wherever you look. Now, somebody was saying even the other day, and this is really a cool thing to do, if you look up in a tree, if you look up at the leaves, there is an abundance of leaves. And depending on where you are in the in the world, there may be an abundance of leaves on the, on the ground that you have to rake too. So the more we value who we are, the more we will see the abundance and prosperity, and the harvest of who we are. Oh, love this. Okay, now this is the second chakra, and this we're going pretty deep too. I mean, because we got the two and the two A, so we're going deeper. And this is about the passion. Hi, Norma. So the passion, what I want you to, if you look at these three together, you value yourself, you can see the abundance that you bring to the world. Hi, Catherine. And then with all of that, the more passion you are able to put into your 
day-to-day life. And the more passion you are able to bring forward to others. So is that fabulous or what? All right, so those are the three cards for the week of October 2nd through 8th, 2017. And just hold that thought for a second, everybody. i got to flip over here. Thank you, everyone. This is Sue Broom with the Virtual Psychic Fair, and this has been your weekly reading for the week of October 2nd through October 8th, 2017. Have a fabulous week, everybody. If you want to get a hold of me, you can go find me at Sue Broom, B-R-O-O-M-E dot com. Thank you so much.